bra, you know what I'm saying, she ended up with, with, with Pimp. And then that's when Pimp said, damn, man. He read all of my Ice Brothers' songs. He said, Pimpin' ain't dead. It just moved to, to the, the well. well. Pimpin' ain't dead. It just moved to the well. Girl ain't gotta hit the track. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. And God bless those girls that be snatched up and, you know, sold, you know, to the black market. And um, I'm just grateful that nothing like that ever happened to me. Never but, there's a thin, no. but there's a thin line because um, what I see them doing a lot is if the person that was um, so-called taken away is underaged, and even although sometimes they say, I want to go, they'll say, well, you're too young to know, you know, and they'll turn it the case around to make it seem like they were forced to. But you know what they used to do Jamaica? And brainwash. Right, exactly. You know what they used to do Jamaica? Like, say for instance, if uh, Vado brought an underage bitch to the mm -hmm. track and she was nine, she was 17. <coughs> mm -hmm. About to be e 18. Every pimp on the track would be like, don't fuck with that bitch. Mm -hmm. That's how it used to be. Like, that yes. bitch, they call, they call they say she's an under. That mm -hmm. bitch an under. So right. when nobody Jail fuck with bait. her and she would have to get off the blade. Okay. But right. nowadays, you know what I'm saying? I mean, these They'll young boys, whatever. they want to be in the game so bad. They don't We care. fucked the game up so bad with pimps up, hold down American pimp. They want that. You know, like if you look at uh, Goldie, remember Goldie? Yeah, mm. yeah, so yeah. So when you look at Goldie, if you look at Pimps Up and Hold Down, and you look at me and, and Pimps Up, that was my Goldie moment. You know, you know, I was Goldie in Pimps Up and Hold Down. You know, one of the international oh, people. Yeah. In so, but, but, but check this out. I got out the game right after that. Now what's happening? Everybody looking for that Goldie moment. Everybody right. want to be that pimp of the year. Right. Everybody want to be mm -hmm. that superstar mm -hmm. pimp. And them days is gone. You see what I'm saying, me? And that's why these young dudes is banging these underage bitches. They just want to get to the money, and they on the, they all on the line. Yeah, yeah, pimp it, man. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, got the bitch, you know, and all that. And they don't know that they're incriminating themselves. You know what I'm saying, me? You know, these folks then went to Congress and made all kind of laws, and these niggas don't even know human trafficking. If you if you mess with underage bitch, that's uh, that's that's human trafficking. If you take a girl to the strip club, that's human trafficking. If you live it off the earning of human trafficking. If Tina came to me and chose up and Vadu turned her out, they could get me and Vadu for uh, mm. for messing with it because they make it retroactive. It's like what they done is that every time they lock a pimp up, it's like they used to lock a drug dealer up. You know, a pimp would try to talk his way out of it, and he said, man, I ain't doing nothing with And then they figured out, they said, okay, this is how we need to fight this law. This is what they doing. They hiding the bitches in the strip club. Oh, they hiding them on arrows. Oh, they hiding them on backstage. Right. And they building a case as they go. Because if you look at the human traffic laws, at first it was only underage bitch and uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, kidnapping. Now it didn't escalate it to all levels of human traffic, right? right? So, it, so, so, what do that mean? If Tina chose up on me, real live hoe, you know what I'm saying? Me straight up, you know, I'm fucking with your pimping type shit, right? She can choose up on me, but she now have the power to destroy me. Wow. What that means is that 20 years ago, Tina could have ran to the police, said, "He a pimp, he a pimp." Well, we need two or more girls. You know, we got to prove it. He a pimp, he a pimp. Well, we got to, you got to give him, take you across the, the cross state line. That's called the Man Act. You know what I'm saying? Those were the, the, the bar for the district attorney. Now all she have to do is say, I'm her pimp. And all I got to do is she said, Ken, come to the hotel. And if she's on Euro, or she got any type of tra traces of home, now they can hit me with human traffic. I'm facing life. So, so actually, a lot of the young guys is in danger because the women got the power now. Yeah, they can, they can, t they turn a nigga in and guess what they tell them? Hey, Tina, I know you with pimping Ken. I know he's your pimp. I know that you, know what I'm saying, he don't force you to do this. But check this out: you got three kids. You got one kid. You got a brand new uh, newborn. Look, we're gonna drop everything on you. All we want is Ken. And we're going to give you some money. And we're going to put you in a, a, a whole protection program. You know what I'm saying? And that's how they're doing it now. So the average girl, you know what I'm saying? And the way they treat them, they treat them. They, you know, these are psychologists. They talking to them like they're little girls. They're making them feel sorry. Right. We know this ain't your choice. Right. We know you was molested. We know this. And that young lady, you know what I'm saying? If she's not sharp and she's not groomed and the dude not groomed, then he go off to prison, state, federal penitentiary, with, 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 with 10, 20 years, because the game has changed that to that level. Right. So that's why I regret pimps up holes down. That's why I regret American pimp, because I think we pretty much gave them folks and the green light change. that they need, yeah. you know what I'm saying, me, to fuck our people, because these people that they locking up for pimps, believe me, E, they are not pimps. Let me ask you, you this. Know what I'm saying? They are not pimps. But when, the when ones you who made the law are the tricks. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's the crazy. And they, and that is, all that's the true. judges I didn't dated mm -hmm. and you know politicians and yeah, 
It's they just ma- crazy. That's I another wanna, thing. I want to ask you about, I, I ask you about uh, uh, Pimp C. Pimp C said pimping ain't dead. It just moved to the web. And and you 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 said some while ago. You said back pages. I believe. What was the impact of back pages when it came out? And and how they was how they was moving around well, on yeah, that. Remember when Pimp first came home? You know what I'm saying? Me. You know I gave him a white bra, right? Yeah, yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Me. So, was that before that verse or after that verse? It, all this was in the same conversation, okay, right? In so, that same. So the bras at that time was fucking with. Is it called arrows or something? Yeah. It's arrows. arrows, right? So arrows, you know, the bra, you know what I'm saying? Me, she's still living, so I ain't gonna say her name. But you know what I'm saying? She was fucking with arrows. So, you know, Pimp C, you know what I'm saying? You know, I felt like, look, bro, you my main man, you know what I'm saying? Me, you scream, you screaming this game, you profess the ism. So why don't you, you know what I'm saying, me, have a real life experience? You know what I'm saying? Me. So, you know, you know, and at that time, you know, me personally. I didn't call that pimping. I just called that dipping and dabbing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, because it wasn't on track. So, you know, a lot of people did that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, because it was some game. You can borrow some game. You tell, hey, look, you do this, this, that, and the other. You can get, you know, five, six hundred dollars a pop. And if you right. know, you got some game. So, so, so the bra, you know what I'm saying? She ended up f- with, with, with pimp. And then that's when pimp said, damn, man. He read all of my iceberg so he said, pimping ain't dead, it just moved to, to the, the well. well. Pimping ain't dead, it just moved to the well. Girl ain't gotta hit the track. So, right. cause he was fucking with a bitch that was fucking with the well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's how he got into the game. That's yeah. hard, man. Cause, I, I, like I said, when he said that, it made sense to me. It made a lot of sense cause it really was an actual factual for me. I'm like, he right. It ain't dead, but well, it ain't. Well, look at OnlyFans, the same shit. Same so, thing, but, same but then, thing. But then, you know, think about it, too. Me and you older, both old enough, and, and I'm, Jamaica might be old enough to remember typewriters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And now they got Apple Max. Yeah, right. Max you know is in the building. So so, million, so, so, so all it is that the bishop went from the track to the Apple Mac. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, these <laughs> girls, they got it so good. They got GPS. Mm-hmm. They, I didn't have that back in the day. No. I just had to write down instructions on the napkin. <laughs> Go up here, get off on this exit, get off at the red uh, barn right there. You remember MapQuest? Yes. I remember MapQuest. No, that's before MapQuest. I had a pager. Mm-hmm. I was talking on the landline. I remember landline. Man, okay. you talking? Hey, you talking Spanish to some of the youngsters oh, now? Yes, landline, so, yeah, party landline. line. Come on now. No, the landline to talk to the trick, mm-hmm. so he can give me instructions to get to his house. And you want to find it because you don't want to go on a dry run. Mm. Wow, dry run is the worst. So, so we telling y'all all this to show credibility, to let people know that we actually live the life. We yes. understand what you're going through. You know what I'm saying? We understand your heartaches. We understand your trials and tribulations. So we want to show the young people it's a better way and a brighter day. You it know sure what I mean? Is. Like now, you know, I'm going taking iced tea in there and Boosie in there getting them, you know, six-figure deals. You know what I'm saying? Me, uh, you know, we working, giving brothers liquor deals. We're giving them cologne deals. we hooking them up with rap snacks. You know, we're doing big and better shit. You know what I'm saying? Me, so it's like just because, you know, you know, you know don't let your, your past you know, define your future. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.